Hello and welcome to the video lecture on transforming uh, associative entities into relations. So in this uh, in this lecture we're going to talk about associative entities and more than likely in your project you also have associative entities. So this is a, a, a really important uh, part of this chapter. Um, associative entities are used in just about every database everywhere in the world. Um, more than likely, as we work through your ER diagram, we've created associative entities. Uh, so you should understand how they work, uh, what role they play. Uh, they basically split up many-to-many -many relationships. Um, so in this case, the, the text goes into uh, uh, two different kinds of associative entities. One, the identifier is not assigned and the other is where the identifier is assigned. And again, the identifier is going to be your primary key, uh, your unique identifier, uh, and it's actually the uh, primary key in the ER assistant. So here we've got, um, uh, if the identifier is not assigned, then we're going to be using uh, a primary key for the association relation. Um, and that primary key is going to be uh, the foreign keys taken from the two parent entities uh, in the many-to-many -many relationship. Or um, we set up an identifier of, that is not associated with the two primary keys. Um, and again, it, it may not be unique. And that's why um, really for our purposes, uh, we're going to be using the the uh, the composite primary key made up of the foreign keys from the parent entities. Uh, so let's take a look at how we do that. So uh, we have an associative entity. Right here's the uh, the very common order to product, um, and we've got a line item in an order uh, order line. Uh, so that's going to keep track of. Uh, the order that uh, this is associated with, uh, what product, and how many of that product are being ordered. Uh, so that one order can be associated with many products, uh, and then each of those products associated with uh, the order can have different quantities. And we, we, that'll uh, flesh out a little bit more when we get really into the physical uh, transformation when we're actually creating the data. When we make the data in the database, you'll, you'll uh, really see how this works. Um, so that's uh, the relationship we're talking about. Uh, and then when we're uh, mapping this into relations, we've got our order, which has an order ID. Uh, we've got product, which has product ID. And then again, and then here's our order line and it's primary key is the combination of order ID and product ID. And again, what you should be thinking about is why this makes sense. There would be no reason, um, so I, I walk into um, a store or I call up someplace and I make an order, right? So now I'm placing an order. So now my order is, you know, 100, right? So the order ID that's associated with my order is order 100. Um, and now I'm ordering products. So I've got various product IDs. Think about it, there would be no reason to have, say, order 100 associated with product ID and have that listed twice. Um, if I go back and I say, all right, you know, let me order, let me, uh, order product ID 25. So now I've got um, order ID 100 and product ID 25, and I say, I want to order five. There would never be a reason in the order line table to have order ID 100 and product ID 25 listed twice. It, it, it would make no, if, if I was adding, say, another, you know, one item, well, instead of doing that, I would go back to the original line and change it from five to six, right? So that's why that makes perfect sense that the order line uh, primary key would be the order ID and the product ID. Again, if that's not perfectly clear, uh, that will become clear when we uh, actually when you actually see data. So now here's uh, an, so another example. So we've got a customer, uh, a customer, uh, and a vendor, and the associative entity is keeping track of the shipments. 
Now in this case, uh, we're setting up an identifier, right? So shipment actually has shipment ID, all right? So let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, here we've got shipment ID. The primary key is gonna be shipment ID. We're still gonna have customer ID and vendor ID. Now the combination of customer ID and vendor ID would be, remember, a candidate key. It could be the primary key, but in this case, we're simply not using it as the primary key. All right, so those are the two different uh, ways of handling an associative entity. This example with the shipment ID is really not used that often. Uh, it's much more uh, common to have an associative entity simply use uh, the combination of the foreign keys to be the primary key. All right, and that is the end of my video lecture on transforming associative entities into relationships.